Cooper's are really proud of their sport and really love it. We've got a national reputation for rugby, for example. Increasingly, we have an excellent reputation in girls' sports, both in hockey and netball as well. Competitive sport is the cornerstone of our games programme. We see it being uh, very important as it exposes the pupils to the reality of competition. It gives them the avenue through which they have to learn to deal with success and failure. And it also gives them the opportunity for those shared experiences where their, their team can perform, succeed, and that can improve their self-esteem and confidence. They want to achieve as much as they possibly can do on the sports field, and that actually kicks into their academic work as well. So the one benefits the other. They obviously try and get you to get academic work first. So if you're doing well in the classroom, you've got the peace of mind to go away to a rugby match. The main sports will be rugby and cricket for our boys and we will have very sort of competitive representative sides in those sports but we also run B teams so there is a, a level of competition that all pupils can get involved with. As well as those sports we will also regularly compete in other team sports such as basketball, football, badminton, swimming, cross country, squash, golf, tennis. We do quite a wide range of sports from hockey, netball, swimming, badminton and girls football. The game staff are brilliant here, they talk to you all the time. If you have a single problem you go to them they sort it straight away. They give you as much opportunity as you can to succeed. In terms of our elite performers, obviously they are pushed through the club pathway. I played for Lancashire under 15s, Lancashire under 16s, the North of England under 16s and the England full side under 16s. The coaching at school is fantastic. They do push you forward to achieve the best that you can achieve. The main thing about Stonius is the rugby, the school life and the extracurricular life are all merged into one big thing. Because most of the teachers either live in flats in the school or in houses around the school. So you do get to see so much of them. Again, they get to know you so well, better than a coach would. The games programme is facilitated by a range of very committed game staff who have a range of skills and that allows us to provide you know, top class coaching in the sports as well as being able to encourage enjoyment and participation so people can um, in effect try out brand new sports, get involved and develop through them. Outside facilities we obviously have an awful lot of Lancashire countryside and we have sort of wonderful sports games pitches, we have our own golf course, we can have fishing on the ponds, indoor facilities, we have obviously the Amber Lacrum for badminton, basketball, we have a swimming pool, the AstroTurf where predominantly the, the girls will be playing hockey and we have hardcore outside courts where the pupils will be playing tennis uh, and netball. I think it's all about how much effort that you're prepared to put in. It doesn't really matter if a pupil isn't good at sport, it's about whether or not you try hard in your lessons and are wanting to improve. With the range of activities on offer, there is always something for everybody. They try and give you as much opportunity to show how good you are and try and push you in the right arenas to see how well you can do. I could never have got where I am without them.